Damian Pierce officially out Sunday for the Houston Texans. What does it mean for the run game? And what the hell do we make of Bobby Slowick's comments about Devin Singletary the other day? Let's go inside the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. It's the locker room on YouTube. You know what it is. Let's get it. Hey, locker room. Yeah, we in the locker room. Texas talk. All right, so we anticipated it was going to happen. It is officially reality. Damian Pierce out Sunday for the Houston Texans. The Texans will have to find a way to do something that they haven't done all season long, uh, which is run the ball effectively, and they'll have to do so without Damian Pierce. It is the locker room number one source for Texans daily digital content. I'm Landry Locker. You can hear me Monday through Friday, 10 to 2 on Sports Radio 610. If you missed the Blake Cashman interview, uh, the exclusive fire up the Odyssey app uh, and go check that out uh, on Sports Radio 610. So the Texans are going to be without Damian Pierce on Sunday. A lot of people saying, thank God, finally, we get to see what this run game looks like uh, without Damian Pierce. Uh, what does it mean, though? What does it mean for the Texans to be without Damian Pierce, uh, who on the season has 327 yards on 109 carries, three yards per carry? He's gotten it above. Uh, into the threes uh, and a touchdown. Now, Damian Pierce is by far the Texans' hardest runner. Uh, he's uh, he's a guy that many people had high hopes for, but he hasn't been effective running the ball this year. Now, some of this can have to do with the offensive line. Some could have to do with the system. Uh, there's a lot of reasons. You can talk chicken, egg, all you want, but there has been talk of this becoming more of a committee, and we saw it against the New Orleans Saints, an equal carry share, uh, kind of continued into Carolina, uh, and now we're probably going to see more of uh, Devin Singletary. So what exactly does it mean with Damian Pierce out? We'll hear from Bobby Slowick on Devin Singletary in a sec, but there are three things that I want to focus on uh, that we could potentially see with Damian Pierce out on Sunday. Number one, could we see a heavy dose of Devin Singletary? Does this mean that we could see more Devin Singletary uh, on Sunday? Let's hear from Bobby Slowick. I thought this was interesting. Um, this was Bobby Slowick asked about what we could see during his media availability and listen to how much he loves him some Devin Singletary. Yeah, if, if we don't have DP, like I th same as receivers, you know, that we talked about with Robert, you know, if, if we don't have DP, I still feel great about the guys we have, you know, the group we have with Boone, with Dare, um, with with Motor, and uh, even Dokes, who's on practice squad. Like that whole crew, I mean, they're here for a reason. We really like what they do. Motor, Motor's one of the best if you just say, hey, regardless of athleticism, like who's just one of the best football players you have on the team, without a doubt, Devin Singletary is one of those guys. You know, he, he does everything. He does everything really well. He does it very smooth and, and with the right mindset. He's aggressive in everything he does. He's confident. Um, he's, he's, I think he's one of everyone's favorite people on the team for that reason. So we have, we have the utmost confidence in really that whole group. All right, now this could mean a number of things. Maybe Bobby Slowick just really loves him. Um, some Devin Singletary. Maybe Bobby Slowick was in a position where he knew Pierce was going to be out. He's always had good things to say about Pierce. Uh, and he was kind of trying to gas up the guy that was going to take on uh, the full load. I don't know. But what do we see? Three things, three possibilities, three questions. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, do we see, one, a heavy dose of Devin Singletary? Do we see Devin Singletary approaching 20 carries uh, or something like that? Do we just see a lot more... Devin Singletary. Uh, number two, does the committee just kind of go from Pierce and Singletary with a small sprinkle of Boone to Mike Boone and Devin Singletary? Uh, Mike Boone on the season, by the way, three carries, 20 yards. Uh, last week, he had one carry for five yards and a catch for 11 yards on the drive, the 17-play, nine-minute drive that gave the Texans a 7-0 lead. Didn't touch the ball again after that. A uh, week before that, he had a five yard, uh, an eleven yard carry. Uh, didn't have any other carries. So, do we see more Mike Boone and Singletary? Does that become the committee with a little bit more sprinkled in, uh, or do we see the heavy dose of Singletary? Or could we see more passing? A lot of people saying, "Man, screw the run game." You got C.J. Stroud, you got Nico Collins and Tank Dell. Your offensive linemen are better equipped to pass block. Screw the run game. 
Now, Bobby Slowick doesn't appear to think that way. Uh, I don't know that he should think that way, but that's what a lot of people want. So what do we see? Do we see a heavy dose of Singletary? Do we see Boone and Singletary committee? Do we see more passing? That is something that I look forward to uh, figuring out. I would personally like to see a little Singletary Boone mix. Uh, see what that looks like. I don't think giving Singletary the rock 20 times uh, is the answer, although it does seem like Bobby Slowick has a lot of confidence in Devin Singletary. But again, maybe he was trying to gas himself up. But the big news is uh, Damian Pierce is going to uh, miss the game, uh, and we are going to get to see. And this is kind of why I'm a little bit excited. Uh, the undercard of dialogue is going to reach a peak. And a lot of times when you're watching a football game, the football game is the main event, and then there's undercards of dialogue. A lot of times they're big eye rollers. Uh, last year it was Davis Mills versus the offensive coordinator. Uh, is Davis Mills is it Davis Mills's fault or is it the offensive coordinator? Uh, Derek Single, uh, <laughs> Derek Stingley uh, versus the system. We've heard that one. The main back and forth. You've heard Andre Ware call out my co-host John Lopez. The main back and forth so far this year with the run game has been, is Damian Pierce a system fit? Do they need less of Damian Pierce? We're going to get a look at it on Sunday, and quite frankly, I'm excited to see it. I love Damian Pierce. I think Damian Pierce has a role on this team. Um, but I think just at least seeing what it looks like without Damian Pierce, I don't think that it like is something that the Texans can't overcome. Uh, I think using Mike Boone and Singletary uh, – and, and the versatile skills that they can provide and, and the way that they can make plays in space, I think it's intriguing. You still have a chance to win the game, and we finally get to see it. And make no mistake about it, with this undercard of dialogue, the people who are Damian Pierce people, if they don't run the ball, it's going to be, oh, I thought it was all Damian Pierce's fault. Uh, where are those people at? And if they run the ball effectively, the people who've been saying Damian Pierce needs to see less action, they are going to be the loud ones. It's the beauty of sports. It's the beauty of passion. It's the beauty of the undercard. Uh, on the season, by the way, Singletary, uh, 183 yards on 49 carries, 3.7 yards per carry. Will be interesting to see uh, in those third and twos, third and ones, fourth and ones, uh, how the Texans handle this situation because regardless of how most people feel, I think we can agree, I think. I don't know if we can all agree on anything, uh, but we can agree that Damian Pierce is the best short yardage, at least the hardest runner on this team. But we're going to we're gonna see it. Damian Pierce uh, not playing on Sunday. How will the Texans handle it? Uh, is Bobby Slowick going to throw the ball more? Is he going to run the ball uh, with Singletary? Is he going to run the ball, mix in some guys? It's very intriguing, uh, and it's one of the main things to look for on Sunday, Texans versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Expect a lot of construction around the stadium. Uh, they're saying to get out there early. I'm kind of worried about the vibe. I think it might be kind of a dud, a little bit dead. Hope not. Regardless, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be having a really good effing time. If you're out there, hit me up at Landry Locker on Twitter. Uh, I'm getting out there early. Uh, I'll be in the press box. I'll be in the locker room, and then I'll be on the stream. So we'll see what happens. What do you think happens? What do you think should happen? Are you concerned? No matter what happens, though, when it comes to this Texan stuff, we're all in it together. Thanks for coming through. Every time, can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, we top two and we not two. Plugged in daily digital on YouTube. Uh, we got taste for days. Opinions to give.